What's up, guys? Click beats, no script, off the rip. I can't have any cursing or profanity on my screen within the first seven seconds of my video, so we get to just see myself looking at myself, looking at myself. A picture within a picture within a picture. I feel like I'm in Inception. It's been seven seconds. Okay, we should be good to go. Just stop recording. Don't stop recording. Uh, we got Ricky Gervais. I hate to even say the word right now. Shitting on women for 10 minutes straight. I don't know why you guys keep pointing me towards these videos that are going to get me in trouble eventually. But uh, this is what you asked for. This is what you're going to get. Um, yeah, man. And like I said, I, I'm i just jumping into Ricky Gervais's material now. So bear with me. Whatever you want to see, be sure to comment down below. Keep subscribing. I can see you guys subscribing. I've got you guys covered. I will cover as much as I possibly can. Um, I see that there were some requests that were like 46 minutes long, or almost an hour long. I could try to break them into bits. I just got to find time for it. Sorry, there's a little fluffy thing flying around. Please go to... Uh, Please, this isn't Ricky Gervais's channel. Please go to Ricky Gervais's channel. Throw him a like, go subscribe. But I also throw this video a like. It takes one second to do. Show love everywhere that you go. Let's jump into this. Let's go. For any of you who don't know, the Golden Globes are just like the Oscars, but without all that esteem. Yeah. <laughs> the Golden Globes are to the Oscars what Kim Kardashian is to Kate Middleton, basically. <laughs> what? Bit louder, bit trashier, bit drunker, and more easily bought. Um, allegedly, nothing's been proved. But as I <laughs> face. More easily bought. Um, allegedly, nothing's been proved. But as I say, I'm going to be nice tonight. I've changed. Not as much as Bruce Jenner, obviously. I think that's what. Now Caitlyn Jenner, of course. What a year she's had. She became a role model for trans people everywhere, showing great bravery in breaking down barriers and destroying stereotypes. She didn't do a lot for women drivers, but... <laughs> it's even better hearing it the second time. <laughs> you can't have everything, can you? But I'm a considered comedian. I like my jokes to be accurate and my targets to be fair. So I was engaging these people. I was saying, why is it transphobic? And they were saying, it's about a trans person. I said, well, that's ridiculous. That's like saying a joke about Bill Cosby is automatically racist. It depends on the joke. But I was talking to them. I'm willing to learn. And I found out my crime was that I dead named her. Now, I'd never heard that term, you know. But I've never dead named? Was that I dead named her. Now, I'd never heard that term, you know, before a day after the Golden Globes. And that was saying her old name and even acknowledging that she used to be a man. Oh. But she did. I... <laughs> I saw him on the Olympic Games. It was... <laughs> it was the Catholic. It was in everything. It was all over the place. It shot put and pole vault. It's, it's on cereal boxes. He won a medal. He was famous. He was on telly all the time. But, you know, a big, famous man with a huge i don't know but i mean i'm guessing <laughs> probably he's a big but i've learned my lesson now i'd never dead name her now now i know it's wrong i'd never dead name her now but like years ago um when you know she was a a man um that was years ago i'm saying right and, and she went to the doctor right and uh, and knocked on the door and the doctor went come in this is years ago i i i'm saying <laughs> i've never dead name her now but this is like this is like a flashback before anyone... Do you know what I'm... So, like, come in. And he went, he went hello, Bruce Jenner. Because that, that was his name then. The doctor, you know, this was years ago. And the doctor went, oh, I'm Bruce Jenner, you big old... How you doing, boy, you fucker? How you doing? You big old blunt. Oh, how you doing, man? <laughs> come here, you, you fucker. How you doing? It was the jab to something. Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, what happened? Brucey boy, you all right? right? And Bruce Jenner, because that was his name, this is years ago, right? So, <laughs> Bruce Jenner went, yeah, not, yeah, not too bad, Doctor, yeah. Not too bad, right? And I was like, what can I do for you, Bruce? Yeah, fucker, uh, how you doing, boy? And Bruce Jenner went, because that, that was his name, Bruce Jenner went, look at that. And they went, oh, come on, Bruce Jenner, you know the rules. He uses his whole name every time for some reason. I don't know why. 
cut. So he's the funny people aren't gonna. Some people might catch it, but some people might not. He's doing this on purpose. He keeps saying the name over and over again because they gave him shit for saying his name previously or her name previously. The the dead name or the dead term. I forgot what they already called it. And he's just making fun of it and even saying like this is years ago, years ago, years ago. Just just to keep poking fun. He uses his whole name every time for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Come on, Bruce Jenner, you fucker. You know the rules. You can't bring your big old pole vaulting pole in here, mate. You know? <laughs> and Bruce Jenner went, no, that's not my pole vaulting pole. That's my enormous penis. And I thought, all oh, right, yeah, seeing as it is your penis, you can bring it in here. But you should have left your shot puts outside. <laughs> and Bruce Jenner went, that, that, that was his name for 58 years, I think. <laughs> He's digging in on this. He went, uh, no, they're not my shot, but stop. They're my enormous testicles. That's where I keep my testosterone and my spark and shit, right? And the doctor went, oh, yeah, that makes perfect. I'm a medical man and that you're a, you're a big bloke. Oh, you fucker. How you doing, boy? You're a big... <laughs> you, you're big and you would have a big old cock and balls. They're beautiful that bit familiar and it and I go no but you must be very proud of them Bruce and um, Bruce and I went oh this is gonna surprise you doctor I want to get rid of them and the doctor went what why oh they get in the way get in the way of what uh, fucking driving for one thing <laughs> Yo, see, this is why you never talk shit to a comedian because look, they don't give a fuck. Their job is to piss people off and push boundaries. So if you're familiar with what happened with Caitlyn Jenner, is got into a huge car accident. Uh, I think kill somebody. I'm, I'm not. Don't. Uh, I'm just. I'm guessing I, from what I remember. So, but he, he's doing this on purpose because they gave him shit. If they never would have gave him shit, this wouldn't have been apart for a bit. But you don't fuck with the comedian. Especially one that is just savage like Ricky. <laughs> and I mustn't mention Mel Gibson this year. Uh, not his private life, his politics, his recent films, and especially not Jodie Foster's Beaver. Um, I haven't seen it myself. Um, <laughs> She's a great sport. I've spoken to a lot of guys here, they haven't seen it either, but that doesn't mean it's not any good. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence made the news when she demanded equal pay for women in Hollywood, and she received, yeah, overwhelming support from... Of course women should be the, paid the same as men for doing the same job. And I'd like to say now that I'm getting paid exactly the same as Tina and Amy did last year for hosting it. No, I know there was two of them, but it's not my fault if they want to share the money, is it? That's, <laughs> that's their stupid fault. Our next presenter is the Queen of Pop. Not you, Alton. Sit down. This is... <laughs> She's all woman. I'll give you some clues. She's always vogue, she's a material girl, uh, and she's yeah. just like a virgin. <clears throat> Please welcome Madonna. <laughs> and I don't mean to be rude here, but this, this couldn't have been too long ago, right? Didn't something happen to her recently? Look, 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 look. we all have issues. I'm going to have health issues and stuff. But I, I, there was like pictures of people talking bad about her recently and how she looked. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything personally, but I've just heard like in the music industry, like she's not looking too good. And I'm just hoping she's OK. But right here, she looks great. If I'm still just like a virgin, Ricky then why don't you come over here and do something about it? I haven't kissed a girl in a few years. Woo! On TV. <laughs> <laughs> this man ran across the stage. That <laughs> was for a split second. On TV. That man is running across the stage to get away from her. I 
What happened? Rich? Cameron, I don't know that Cameron Reborn, Ricky Gervais question. How do you feel about the American office being way better than the British version? I leave you with the tweet of the year. Dumb atheist, why quote Richard Dawkins? He just a, I'm not saying the R word, in a wheelchair with a robot voice. Oh my god. I was looking, and then if it's a looking, yeah, yeah. Ricky Gervais, people think I say offensive things purely for the joy of upsetting people. This is not the case. I do it for the money. <laughs> um, welcome to my show. Uh, it's not a show, there's no dancers or jugglers. It's basically a bloke talking. Um, which is essentially what stand-up comedy is, isn't it? A bloke talking. Sexist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what about all the funny female comedians? Like, um... <laughs> no, 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 right. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Okay, right. That was irony, okay? There's gonna be a bit of that throughout the show. See if you can spot it, okay? <laughs> now... I love that because he's going to have callbacks. I wish I could watch the full fucking routine. That's when I say something I don't really mean for comic effect. And you as an audience, you laugh at the wrong thing because you know what the right thing is. It's a way of satirizing attitudes. Like that first joke, I use the old-fashioned sexist trope that women aren't funny. Now, in real life, I know there are loads of funny women. Like, um... <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. Well spotted. Good. <laughs> no, but there are, um... Dame Edna Everidge. She is... <laughs> uh, Eddie Izzard. I don't know who that is. She's brilliant, isn't she? She's not only a great comedian, she's, she's also a great actress, isn't she? She was brilliant in that thing as that man. Which... <laughs> All female. I didn't catch that one. I'm sorry, Dan. I didn't catch that. A remake of the big thing. There's a female remake of Ghostbusters. There's going to be a female remake of Ocean's Eleven. And this is brilliant for the studios because they get guaranteed box office results and they don't have to spend too much money on the cast. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second time I heard that too. That was good. Shut up. I don't care. I feel sorry for them, right? That was a big ass beer. What the fuck is yeah. that? I feel sorry for them, right? That <laughs> man needed two hands to pick it up. A Foster's? No, I do. Particularly, particularly fat women, because fat is a feminist issue. Men get fat and we just go, fuck it, all bought and paid for, you know. <laughs> we don't come under the same constraints of society, whereas women are inundated with images of how you should be size zero models this diet that diet look like this keep your man and they make such an effort don't they fat girls they've all, always got lovely hair aren't they they're always having their hair they've all got lovely hair always got lovely hair always got those lovely false nails aren't they they make an effort anything but jogging right <laughs> they love high heels don't they they think it makes their legs look less it doesn't it just <laughs> You can just hear him coming now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs. So next time, buy two seats. I'm, I'm joking. I'm dead. I'm joking. Shut up. Oh, that was good. You know, it's funny. I was actually just listening to a uh, Joe Rogan podcast. Was it yesterday or two days ago? I don't know. I, I got cabin fever, guys. Um, and he even brought up Ricky Gervais and how good Ricky Gervais is. Uh, and I, I have to completely agree. Ricky Gervais, uh, now that I've just been introduced to him. Um, the clips I've been seeing, they have some new stuff, but they also have some of the old stuff. So I'm catching like bits and pieces um, that I've seen before, but at the same time that are new. So I would love to watch full routines and kind of break them up with you guys. That would be cool. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, just do me a favor. Subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what I have to see. But uh, I, I love this dude. This dude is a, when he ran across the stage with Madonna. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was so good. Oh, I'm just waiting for the hate messages to roll in. You understand, dude? Like I sit here, I watch content. 
I crack a few jokes. I laugh. We, we talk back, you know, well, I talk and then we talk in the comment sections and then, dude, the hate messages. You don't always see them in the comment section, but in my Instagram, dude, oh, 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 oh. people love to just start shit. And I'm like, dude, I just watched a video. Like, Why do you put that on your platform? It's like, well, because people subscribed and asked for it. That's what dude, you guys are in charge of this channel. It's not like I'm picking the content. You guys are picking the content. <laughs> people just get so mad for no reason. Not all people, just some people, man. Um, and that's why we really need comedians today. We need people to still, you know, we need to, dude, if, if you build a soft society, eventually it folds. You need to have thick skin. You need, you need to, like, well, dude, like, there was at one point in my life where I got fat, when I was drinking a lot and I was eating Arby's every day. And if my friend wasn't an asshole to me and told me, like, hey, what's up with you and your fat shirt? I was wearing, like, this big sweatshirt and it was, like, hiding and then he like poked me in the belly he's like you even got a mustard stain on it and i was like oh shit i do like if, if that never happened i wouldn't have went and lost weight like we need people to crack jokes and tell us when we're fucking up like that is needed this whole walk around and tiptoe and be nice to everybody of course be nice be loving care for everybody but when somebody's fucking up like if you really care about them tell them hey you might want to fix this up to you know it's like that joke he had right there about you know like women with the nails and hair looks everything looks perfect but they'll do everything besides start jogging you know um and he summed it up perfectly right there without being an asshole he was just saying like you know it is what it is anyways i love you guys thanks for watching with me i appreciate it this was the most requested video you guys let me know what is next comment down below uh i know you guys want me to watch full episodes and stuff i'm gonna try my best as long as youtube doesn't give me hell for it and let me know what it is. Uh, guys, anybody here dealing with anxiety, depression, panic attacks, PTSD, addiction, a bad breakup, whatever the case may be, man, I leave myself open to you. I wouldn't have a channel if it wasn't for you or amazing uh, artists like Ricky Gervais. And yes, I say artists because stand-up comedy and being a comedian in general is art. Um, like I said, I, I see a lot of similarities between the writing and setups for comedians and for music musicians in general. It's beautiful to watch, and it's a different form of art. I'm, not, I'm I'm learning about now. I've seen quite a few with you guys, but I really want to dig through the crates and see some of the greats with you, and uh, I'm interested to learn more. I'm definitely interested to learn more, and you guys have been doing a hell of a job putting me on the right path. So thank you so much. I love you. Like I said, reach out to me on Instagram if you need me. I'm always here for you. Uh, I'm no doctor. I can't solve all your problems, but if you just need someone to talk to, please reach out to me. You can lean on me. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, you're more than welcome to join my uh, Discord. It is free. Amazing community as well. I think there's like 700 members over there. Uh, we have uh, mental health forums. We got people, you know, cracking jokes, sharing memes. Uh, anything you have going on with you, you can talk to anybody in there, and they'll come rushing to your side at any moment. Also, I'd love to have, have you over on Patreon. That's where we do all my paid-for donations, which I'm going to be knocking out a bunch of those this week. And uh, we have our own thing going on over there. That's where my podcast will be hosted at is over on Patreon. But I'll still post clips on YouTube as well. I'll still be doing, you know, reviews and reactions and stuff like that on YouTube too. But my my podcast is going to be strictly for Patreon. And then I'll post clips over on YouTube because it's going to be an amazing podcast. And I'll put it on Spotify and stuff too eventually. But that'll take some time, obviously. It's, I'm still building the uh, podcast room anyway but i love you guys stay safe i've talked way too much have a wonderful week and uh just know that i love you guys i'm here anytime that you need me thanks for watching with me guys peace